This is Twit. Android, because Megan did apps for iOS, Android yeah. actually has a few decent apps just for some basic streaming. I mean, it's not going to give you anything like this. No. You're not going to be tying consoles into it. But I thought we should probably show the folks at home what they can do. I mean, I'd be really surprised if, if some of this stuff is very different from what Megan said. Because, I mean, you know, just, just Tuesday on All About Android, we, we did a uh, roundup of music apps. We were like, what's the state of music apps on Android right now? And what you end up realizing is that Android and iOS, really, there's a lot of parity there, right? It, you know, both, both platforms have been developed for years. So the main players exist on both sides. Um, you, you, you mentioned... Well, I, I don't know if we touched very much on this, but YouTube Gaming, which I didn't have in, oh, in yes, here yes. until like 15 minutes ago, I, re I realized, wait a minute, YouTube has their own streaming for gaming. Uh, if you install the app called YouTube Gaming, I actually have a link in the doc that I just added. I tweeted it out and went live um, w on YouTube Gaming because I've got a game that I can play. But, you know, it allows for very easy uh, front-facing uh, camera, little a little dot down at the bottom while I'm streaming out uh, the game that I'm playing. Uh, what am I playing here? This is, uh, st uh, what is it, uh, it Sky Fox? Oh, Robert? yeah, okay. I can't yeah. Remember. It's, it's one of these don't get hit and shoot everyone. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. But anyway, so it, it's really easy to, to stream this uh, through YouTube live. It's, right now it's connected to my YouTube account. And so, you know, I basically installed the app uh, and... Within seconds, I'm streaming with a front-facing camera, uh, you know, little dot down here that I think you can move around. But this is limited to the, their gaming titles. No, no, no. This is this is just going straight up to to YouTube's oh uh, okay. YouTube site through my account. Oh, I can I like stream that. any any of the games that I have on here. I haven't. Uh, let's see here. Here are some of the controls. I'll go ahead and stop my stream here. There we go, and I think that that'll be archived on my on my site. But um, but yeah, you can you can stream anything you want. Here's the screencast area for YouTube Gaming, and you just go up here, say I want to go. It gives you the options to either go 720p or 480p if you want to kind of save the processor on your phone, uh, and then you can select any of the games that you have installed, and just get, boom. I mean, it's like within a couple of taps, you're streaming your gameplay if yeah. that's something that you want to do. You know, what I like about this is it fills in the hole. Now, we both know this because we work with Twit, but you have to release content on a regular basis. If you do not, your audience will just disappear. That's, yeah. that's just what's one of those things. So if you are going to start doing this, I mean, yeah, maybe you have your broadcast set up at home, but there's going to be times when you're not there. Mm -hmm. And when you're not there, it's always nice to at least throw something to your audience. Let them know that you're still there, you're still invested, you're still going to be broadcasting. Sure. So, you know, maybe, hey, you went on a vacation. Okay, well, give them 15 minutes of you playing games and doing commentary. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's, this is one of the, actually, there was a really good panel at NAB for this. Um, w w it's just a bunch of podcasters. And we all talked about our setups, and we all talked about the hardware that we like, we all talked about the services that we like the most. Mm -hmm. But what was actually contentious was how much content do you have to give people? Oh, yeah. It's and, a, you know, and, it's and, a you know, treadmill. There, there was one person there who's like, yeah, I, I stream every hour. And I'm like, what? Because, yeah, maybe only two minutes, three minutes, but I stream every hour. And, and it works for him. He's got a great audience. But I'm thinking, that would kill me. I could, there's no yeah. way I could do that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a, it's, that's a hard, hard thing to jump on to because then, then the audience kind of expects that frequency of output. And yeah, it's like, and at some point, don't you have to sleep? I mean, yeah. are you waking up in the middle of the night to play two minutes of gaming? That's yeah. just ridiculous. I mean, we're starting to hear a lot about burnout, too, for a lot of these yeah. people who are... Who are including content and uploading content and live streaming, you know, every single day. At a certain point, it gets tiring. It may be really fun now, but you know, pace yourself. Yeah. Um, so obviously, YouTube gaming. If game streaming is, you know, something that you want to do, that makes it really easy. And you know, everybody's on YouTube, so it's a great audience to be able to to go to. Uh, Twitch, of course, which I don't. I actually do don't it. have a Twitch account, so I can't log into it, but. Um, but I mean that's a that's an obvious standby, and you can you can stream to Twitch uh, through the app, I believe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Um, and, and this is why I like XSplit because with XSplit or with OBS, yeah. I can I can hit YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so it's the same stream going. Oh, on. and that's really nice. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about this or that or whatever. Catch I, your audience wherever they have. I remember when we were still working with uh, with um, live stream. 
And we were doing like this Frankenstein's monster of, okay, we'll take the statement, we'll send yeah. it to three different boxes, and each box is responsible for a different... Buffer. That was a pain. So yeah. much nicer now. Yes, yes. Well, speaking of live stream, that is also another option. The thing about live stream, though, uh, is that if you really want to use live stream to stream anything, you're paying for it. Yeah. Live stream is not, yeah. is not a free stream sort of approach. I, I they think the, do I give think, you better service. Yeah, exactly. And you're paying for that service. You're paying for the quality, um, you know, that you get through live stream and the support. But I mean, I think I think it starts at around like 40 some odd dollars per month. And that's if you pay annually or 30 some odd dollars right around there. But um, you go ahead and switch to the overhead. There yeah, you if you switch to the overhead, you can see. I mean, it's it's pretty direct, and if I try and go in there, it's going to tell me that I need a subscription. You know, it's, uh, but live I, stream is a pretty popular platform. You know we what talked I mean? about this at the panel too. It's like, you know, what do you prefer? YouTube and Twitch are free, and you get a certain type of audience. Live stream is not free, but you get arguably a, a higher quality audience. I mean, yeah. that's what I, I didn't buy I mean, that, but well, I, I mean, I live stream just it. yeah, from a content perspective of what you find a live stream, it's a lot more. Uh, you know, a lot more of the kind of the broadcast network content can be there. Some of the, the major sports teams are, are streaming their content there. It's a little bit elevated of yeah. a level of, of quality and content as far as that's concerned. It's not as, it's not as you know, I'm a person streaming my video game playing sort of, sort of approach. Uh, and then, of course, you stream which has been yes. around for a long time. We, we stream here at Twit on Ustream. And in fact, usually you can find it not very far down on this front. Yeah, there we are. There we, there's Yay! our thumbnail. In fact, there we are on Twit Live on Ustream. Uh, but you can use this to stream as well. You set up an account and you log in, and it, it's pretty direct access. I thought I was logged in, but it gives you a pretty, you know, just a couple of couple of hits, and you can go live to your yeah. Ustream account. Something I, that, I used to do that a lot. I, I don't really do that much anymore. You know, uh, talking about comparing services, uh, this is actually brought up by uh, Gin Clops in the chat room. Um, what I find with Twitch is you get the drive-by view much more easily than you do on either Ustream, or Livestream, or YouTube. So on those other platforms, if people find you, they've probably searched for you. All right. On Twitch, whenever I'm broadcasting, I will get people who know nothing about me. They have no idea who I am. They're just like, oh, okay, well, well this came up. Let me, let me try yeah. that. That's, so again, keep that in the back of your mind. If, if you think you've got sticky content that a drive-by would stay, right. that might be a better platform for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, exposure is pretty important in all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of people doing oh, this. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, so it was, so, I mean, those were kind of the main standouts that I could find on the professional-ish side on this kind of casting either gameplay or if you want to kind of elevate it and, mm -hmm. you know, reach a, a more professional or higher kind of, I don't know, a, a different different type of it's audience a, it's than a different just demographic. random person yeah. going, hey, I'm live. <laughs> there's, there's the whole personal live streaming right. that you can find on both, on both platforms. Periscope, Facebook Live, uh, You Now, which I know very little about, but I installed it yesterday because I was What was that one? Wait, uh, uh, I realized Meerkat. I was far too old to be using that app, so wait, I uninstalled wait, it. Remember but Meerkat when that came Meerkat, out? And we were yeah. like, wait, what is going on? I don't care about you walking down a yeah. sidewalk. Oh, man. Yeah, some of this, some of it's weird. Like, like you now, I installed it and watched a couple of streams, and it's basically just someone st sitting there going, "Hey, thank you for the likes. Oh, hey, so and so, you give me five hundred <laughs> likes, thank you. Oh, and thank you for the like. Literally, it's the stream is them thanking <laughs> people for the likes. But anyways, that could be your thing. I realize yeah. I'm not the target audience for you now. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and and okay, I, I'm, we don't want to belittle any of these audiences because obviously they have attraction. Yeah, but you kind of have to find one that works for you. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's that's just to say that there's a <laughs> lot of different ways that you can do live streaming on Android, on iOS, or whatever, but what is the ag exact type of live streaming you really want to do? There are platforms that service different types of live streaming, yeah. and, you know, if, if it's gaming, you know, Twitch, YouTube gaming, the, like, those are probably the ones that you want to check out, and thankfully, they've made it really easy to do so. They did.